Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano led an April 29th event at the Southwest Chester Executive Park to bring community solar projects to Yonkers. Today marks the launch of five community solar projects, the first community solar projects here in the city of Yonkers. And we all know that solar is a great renewable energy option for many homeowners. Just look over my shoulder. Uh, the sun is bright and in the sky and it's not going anywhere. And there's a limitless supply of energy just waiting to be harnessed. Uh, but for those who live in apartments or in homes that are shaded, uh, installing solar panels actually might not be an option for them. A community solar provides access to solar without having to install prop, uh, panels on your property. Instead, uh, what we are doing is uh, we will provide solar panels that will be installed. Sorry, that will be installed here in Executive Boulevard, thanks to GNS Solar and, of course, Robert Martin Company. Any residents uh, who pays their own electricity bill can now subscribe to a solar farm. This will be the solar farm and receive credits on their electric bill every month for this clean energy that is produced here. This includes renters and co-op owners. This is a huge win for them. This is a great way to, to, to reduce the electrical cost to our, our residents. Uh, it's a great way to, to continue to move towards sustainable energy. Uh, and it goes to show how Yonkers is stepping up to do our part. Sustainable Westchester is a nonprofit organization that counts essentially all of the municipalities of Westchester as members, including from the very beginning, from the earliest days, the city of Yonkers. And our role is to create and deliver programs for our municipalities and their communities that help to accelerate adoption of clean energy and other sustainability initiatives consistent with New York State's goals. New York State, as many of you know, has set nation-leading standards on addressing the climate crisis. And included within this is the requirement that by 2030, 70% of the electricity on our grid come from renewable sources. That's a big number, particularly when you consider that at the moment, the percentage that is renewable is just under 30%. In addition, there's a really important requirement that uh, a targeted 40% of the benefits from those investments in achieving the climate goals have to flow to what they call disadvantaged communities. Community solar represents the opportunity to drive um, more rapid solar development while also targeting its benefits to those who need them most. Here at GNS, our plan for solar, uh, along with all the stakeholders, is to execute a number of projects across Westchester County over the next two years. We have a portfolio of about 50 projects that are ready to build and to move forward, which represents about 25 megawatts of deals. Beyond that, there's another 25 megawatts of projects in the pipeline that if if the community solar credit is extended, we'll also move forward. So we're, we're very excited to be here today. We're very excited to finally be under construction here in the city of Yonkers, and we look forward to working with everyone on a go-forward basis. Robert Martin is honored to stand here today with you because we are equally invested in the long-term sustainability and viability of Yonkers, which is literally reflected in the solar panels here in front of me. In 1931, nearing his own death, famed inventor and entrepreneur Thomas Edison declared to his friends Henry Ford and Harvey Firestone, I put my money on the sun and solar energy. What a great source of power. Well, as we all know, Thomas was ahead of his time and very profound. Ninety years later, our collective partnership is realizing Edison's dream to harness the sun's limitless, clean power for the benefit of the citizens we all serve. Robert Martin is excited and proud to be part of this venture and we look forward to helping light the way towards Yonkers' continuing economic revitalization with more critical solar installations in Yonkers and all over Westchester County. We have over 1,700 units of affordable housing across the city in all of the quadrants, 
and uh, that amounts to tens of thousands of residents. It's seniors, it's families, and without this affordable green energy, um, our tenants would be at a loss. Last year during COVID, when so many of them were forced to stay home and uh, put on their air conditioners, they really felt the impact of those bills. And so having a green sustainable energy alternative is incredibly valuable to families and seniors who are literally concerned about the next dollar and the next $5 that they spend.